I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on pattern rules. And let me thank my subscribers and viewers for taking keen interest and posting excellent question. So here is an excellent question from one of our viewers. The question here is, write the pattern rule and find 100th term. We are given input and output. The input increases seems to be, right? <laughs> Not really. So the input is minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Output is 10, 8, and 6 for their corresponding values. You need to find the 100th term. Right? You need to find the 100th term. Now this question is extremely important since it comes from a middle school student. And some of you may not know in integers the numbers which are shown here are actually decreasing, right? So, so we'll rewrite our list. So first question here is to rearrange. To find the hundredth term, right? So the idea is that we should write them in increasing order. Why am I doing so? Let me explain you that part also. So this is our number line. On a number line, if we have 0 here, then this is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3, and so on. Increasing means this direction is increasing. Do you see that? So we want the 100th term, so we have to move in this direction and get to the 100th term. Perfect. So that's the whole idea. So first step here, what I'm going to do is rewrite the whole thing in a different order. So we are going to rearrange. So, so we rearrange the list and we start with, so now input and output. Input will be minus 5, giving 6. And then when it is minus 4, then it gives me 8 and when it is minus 3 then it gives me 10 do you see the idea now we are actually increasing so what are we doing here we are adding 1 to the input and output we get plus 2 so we are increasing by 2 each time you get my point we are increasing by 2 each time and uh, what is the first term here? First term is this one. So this is your first term. Which is 6. Right? So this is your first term. So now we have to get an equation which relates input to output. We want 100th term. We do not want the answer when input is 100. You are getting the point, right? So that way, this question is very tricky. Correct? So let's do the first part first, and that is to relate the two. Since the numbers are increasing by 2, we could write down our equation as what? 2 times the input. Let me write 2 times the input plus what? Now, if I do 2 times minus 5, I get minus 10, right? To get 6, I have to add 16. So, that becomes my equation. So, that becomes my output, right? So, let me write output here. So, for every input, that is how my output is related. So, if my input is minus 3, then this is minus 3 times 2, which is minus 6 output is 10. Do you see that? So that becomes a relation which relates all this. Right? Now, to get the 100th term, there are different ways to do it. If I substitute 100 here, will that be the right answer? No. Because we actually started with minus 5. We did not start with 0. So the input for the 100th term will not be 100 but it will be what so so the first term look here the first term is 
i input equal to minus 5 right so second term input will be i plus 1 right so it'll be minus 4 you can see this is the second term so let's write term numbers here so term number 1 term number 2 and then we have term number 3 perfect so so the third term will be so third term will be i plus 2 right 1 less than 3 so I can say i plus 2 which is 1 less than 3 right so i is minus 5 so minus 5 plus 2 gives me minus 3 so that is the third term so what is going to be my hundredth term so in hundredth term what is going to be my input so these are my inputs right For 100th term, it will be minus 5, the first term, plus 1 less than 100, which is 99. So I have to take away 5 from 99. I get 94. You get an idea. So to find the 100th term, what should I do? I will get an output, which is 2 times, the input is 94, not 100 plus 16. Do you see that? So now we will multiply 4 times 2 is 8, 9 times 2 is 18 and to this we are going to add 16. 6 plus 8 is 14 and then you get 2, 0 and then you get 1, 2, 0, 4. So 2, 0, 4 is your 100th term. So the 100th term here is 2, 0, 4. Is that clear? So this this question is seemingly simple but very difficult okay so couple of things to understand one the order here is actually decreasing right so it is a good idea to reverse and write it in increasing order so we know now the numbers are increasing by one for the input the output is increasing by two therefore the relation between output and input should be two times some number and add something we figured it out that it should be added by 16 so two times input plus 16 that was one thing second first term is minus 5 so hundredth term will be what hundredth term is going to be 94 correct for first term getting minus 5, we have to take away 6, right? So what did we do here? In the first term, we took away 6. So we'll take away 6 again to get the input for 100th term. So input is 94. So that is the input 94 for 100th term. So in our formula, we have to use this value 94 for i. So I hope now the concept is absolutely clear. Then you get that answer. So that is why this question is so beautiful and so important. So our answer here is that I'll write both. I'll write input equals to 94 and output equals to 204 for 100th term. Is that clear? And thanks a lot again for posting such a beautiful question. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.